Now here we've got a nice question on just finding means and how values can affect a mean in this second section here. Well you might like to try these questions but uh, if you're having problems just fast forward to the relevant section and I'll give you the work solution. Okay, well, in the first one, we've got that Keith records the amount of rainfall in millimetres at his school each day for a week, and the results are given below here. And uh, Jenny then records the amount of rainfall as X millimetres at the school each day for the following 21 days. And the results for the 21 days are summarised here as the sum of them, sigma X equals 84.6. And in part A, we've got to calculate the mean amount of rainfall during the whole 28 days. Well, to calculate the mean, all I would want to do is just total up what that total rainfall was for the 28 days and then share that total rainfall between 28, divide it by 28, in other words. Well, I know the rainfall for the first week, it'll just be the total of these values here. So we'll just put those down here, 2.8 plus 5.6 plus 2.3 plus 9.4, do bear with me on this, okay, plus 0.0, .0 okay, plus 0.5 plus 1.8. Well that's the sum for the total rainfall for the first week. We've then got to add it to the total for the next 21 days. So we know that's going to be plus 84.6. And we divide all of this total rainfall then by the number of days, which is 28. And if you work that out, what you find that you get is a total of 107, 107 millimetres which fell in 28 days. So if we do that division, it turns out to be 3.8214 and so on, which say when rounded then to three significant figures, is going to be 3.82 millimetres then to three SF, three significant figures for short. All right. Now, we're told that Keith realises that he has transposed two of his figures. The number 9.4 should have been 4.9 and the number 0.5 should have been 5. And we've got to state, giving a reason, the effect that this will have on the mean. Well, when I look at 9.4, let's just put it down here. 9.4, okay, it went to 4.9. So what I notice is that there was a drop, okay, of, and the difference between those two is 4.5, a drop of 4.5. And then in the other one, he had a reading that the number 0.5 should have been 5. So 0.5 to 5.0, okay, was a rise, a rise of the difference between these two, 4.5. Well, what's this going to mean? Well, there's going to be no overall change then in the mean because the drop of 4.5 was cancelled out by the rise of 4.5. So the conclusion is that therefore there is no change in the mean. Okay, so We'll just write that in, no change in the mean. So I hope uh, that's given you an idea then over this part of the question if it did cause any problem. All right.